Hi, I'm Mariana Figuero. I'm a professor and director at the Lighting Research Center at Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute. In this video, we're going to discuss how age affects your eyesight and sleep and how lighting can be used to help mitigate these negative effects. We'll talk about three types of issues. Deterioration of vision, decreased sense of balance, and sleep disturbances. At age 40 and after, almost everyone experiences a reduction in visual capabilities. Less light reaches the back of your eyes, mainly because your crystalline lenses become thicker and absorb more light, and your pupils get smaller. As a result, a 60-year-old receives about a third of the light at the back of the eye than a 20-year-old. The lens also begins to scatter more light as one ages, adding a luminous veil which reduces the distinctness or contrast of objects and the vividness of colors. And as we age, we become more sensitive to glare. After age 60 to 65, we're also more likely to have age-related eye diseases. Common problems include cataracts, macular degeneration, diabetic retinopathy, and glaucoma. There are several ways that we can use lighting to help overcome some of these changes to the aging eye. Light levels on task should be two to three times higher than what is comfortable for younger people. Minimize glare by keeping light sources out of sight lines, avoiding reflections off of shiny surfaces, balancing light levels between spaces, and providing curtains or shades on sunny windows. Increase contrast of the edges of stairs and other important objects for easier detection. As people age, they lose their balance more easily and they're more likely to fall. LED strip lights that provide vertical and horizontal visual cues around bedroom and bathroom doors can help reduce the risk for falls. Use low light level, warm color LEDs to avoid sleep disruption. As people age, they tend to be more awake at night and take more naps during the day. This is especially true of people with Alzheimer's disease and related dementia. One reason for this is that older adults tend to spend more time indoors, often in dimly lit spaces. To counter this and provide the required circadian stimulus, or CS, older adults should go outside whenever possible. Indoor lighting should be specified to provide high CS during the day. An LRC study conducted in a long-term care facility provided Alzheimer's disease patients with a CS of 0.3 or greater over the entire day. The treatment resulted in longer sleep times, fewer depressive symptoms, and reduced agitation. The LRC developed a self-luminous table that provided high CS to those sitting around it. Compared to the baseline, the patients had the same improvements as in the previous study. To help design the lighting for senior living facilities, the LRC offers lighting patterns on its website. In the next video, we'll discuss lighting for shift workers.